Washington. To me, this is the best. For those who missed this, Washington now will just be known as the Washington football team for this year. <laughs> for this year. They've removed the Native American imagery from their helmets. They've been replaced with uh, gold numbers. Uh, they're going to keep the burgundy, burgundy yellow. Is it yellow or gold? Not, yeah, I, I, whatever burgundy, is, gold. Burgundy, like gold. burgundy gold. They're, they're keeping the color scheme. To me, to, to me, this is the smart move. Everybody was trying to force feed a new name, the Washington Warriors, the Washington Monuments, the Washington whatevers. You know what? It took you this long to change it. It took you this long to get it right. Now have the process play itself out properly. Take your time. It doesn't really matter what you call yourselves, you know, as long as yep. it's not the Redskins, and I say that just, you know, for effect here. But it's the Washington football team, and that's it. I yeah. think it's a really smart move. I, I think it's I think it's the only thing that they could do right now, BT, because I honestly believe that what's happening is that the the Washington football team is fighting for its trademark. Right? They could they could go out and say tomorrow or today even we are going to be called the washington generals let's just pick it let's say yep. we're going to be the washington generals and they don't own the trademark now people go and make merchandise and they sell things and they they you just can't if you don't control your brand you can't be a professional uh, organization in today's uh, day and age because people will monetarily take advantage of yep. it and so that's what they're doing they're buying themselves time to gain control of their brand and it's interesting because you saw all the reactions to it <laughs> andrew brandt who uh, obviously is a really good in, uh, nfl a reporter uh, uh, you know, put out a tweet earlier today. It was like, wait, we're going to go every Sunday and now have WTF. <laughs> we all know what that means. What yeah. the, you know what? And I was like, no, I wasn't thinking about that until now, but now we certainly will. Um, but that's, I, I, it's smart for them. It's confounding and it makes you scratch your head and they're going to be the subject of memes for the next week or so and LeBron James goes off on them and everybody else goes off on them. But I think it, it, your instinct is right, BT. It is the smart way to play the rebranding of this Washington franchise. And I got to tell you, I don't know what they're ultimately going to be called, what their new uh, team mascot and logo is going to be. Yep. But the burgundy and gold with the le with the number on the helmet actually kind of looks sweet. I like it. I kind of I I, I dig it, man. I agree and, and, I, and I like the fact that it's it's there isn't some corny you know, mascot that you're championing right now. I think it's it's kind of neat just to be, I don't know, just basic. Like, it's, just, it's something neat about being basic. It's clean. Mm -hmm. I think that's what it is. It's clean. It's simple. Like the, uh, yeah. and, and it makes it nice. It makes it appealing. Yeah, I mean, it makes it simple and it makes it appealing. Now, eventually, you've got to have an identity. You, oh, you know, of course. You know, you've, of course. You've got to have that, that, that name that resonates and that, that fervor that just rips through the fan base, and they will. Um, you know, the story, and you and I talked about this, there was the, the trademark squatter who was a, a diehard Washington fan. Matter of yeah. fact, he went to a game last year. And this story, that's why I'm a little surprised. While I think it's the prudent play here, take your time, get it right, and, and go through a real elongated process, examine it from every angle. This way, whatever you do pick, uh, we don't have to revisit this in two years because somebody else was offended or, or is viewed as insensitive, whatever it might be. Or it's corny. Or it's corny, <laughs> you know. You know. Um, but I don't think there'd be no outrage for corniness there would be an outrage true. for. No, they get, they get clowned all the time. Though. Yeah, exactly. But I think that the, the guy who put all these trademarks in, you know, he seemed very amenable to working with the Redskins. He even said... Hey, listen, you know, this is not an adversarial type of relationship. I just did this to have a little fun mess around. I will absolutely work with the Redskins. So, you know, whether it's Red Tails or whether it's Generals or whether it's Monuments, there was about 20 of them that he trademarked. This story came out a little more than a week or so ago. Uh, he seemed to be, you know, very willing to, to do that. I don't know if he's changed his tune, which is now hence um, forced the Redskins to kick this step, pardon me, to, to, to force Washington to kick this down the road a little bit and um, and go through a different uh, maybe legal channel. Yeah. But I'm also not fully in tune with the trademark process to begin with. Like how long, it, like even if he relinquished, 
his rights to all 20 or all 19 trademarks, does it take several months for this to actually be filed and be stamped? I don't know. It probably yeah. does. I don't think the, it happens like yeah. that. No, I think it definitely no. takes some time because he's been uh, you know, dealing with trademarking these. And by the way, he spent like 20 grand doing this. This I know is like did. a little hobby that he had on the side to, I don't know, ha- make fun. Not only was he getting these trademarks, though, BT, he was selling merchandise against them, setting up websites and, and creating T-shirts and all kinds kinds of things for all these different Washington potential teams. So he's, I mean, yeah, I know it's a little side hobby for him, but he's been spending a lot of time and resources on this little side hobby. Uh, You know, it's kind of like a hedged bet in a sense. You spend a little money here. If if Washington decides to change their name, then you kind of have them. You're stuck. And, you know, some of this merchandise that you've created becomes really valuable because it was ahead of the curve. Uh, But, yeah, at the end of the day, Washington, is doing the right thing. Uh, you, it's funny because the reaction from Washington players is all, "Oh, this is fantastic!" Dwayne Haskins is, you know, all fire. And mm. Darius Geis, it's all fire. Uh, they like their uniforms, which I kind of do as well. Everybody else looks at it and they're kind of clowning. What the hell? You had all this time to spend, you know, finding out a new name, and you come up with the Washington Football Team. Um, but we all know it's a placeholder, and I think that's what people are missing. They're not. They're they're discounting the fact that Washington is just holding a yeah, space right for now. Sure. You know, and listen, I don't want to see them change their colors. The imagery, that's that's got to go. That's that's obvious here. Um, but the colors, I, I really hope they don't change their colors when they change their team name. Do you I think agree. they will? No, I don't think so. Because I, think, it, so. I think it, it it can go with whatever. And if it is the red tails yeah. um, um, or any of these other. Or the red wolves was yeah. one. But I any think these, Arkansas State, I don't know if they have a full yeah. trademark on that. I, uh, there's other teams that Probably. actually. That's, yeah, that's not. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't but, worry about but, that. But, any, but still, my point is, any of those, or to your point, any of those other red whatever, yep. the, the color scheme can still stay. You know, it's just it's a different hue of red. It's not like bright red, like yeah. red, like the kinky boots that I have over my shoulder yeah, here. Those, it's those not are that, red. It's not that red, but it is red. Yeah. And so I, look, I, I, I like their color scheme. I like their temporary, you know, uniforms. I think it was the smart move, even though they're getting clowned right now. It's the best way to handle this uh, and put it into, um, a pause mode before they actually make the announcement down the down the line. Let me ask you a question. You keep saying they're getting clowned. Everything that I've seen is to the contrary. I've seen it positioned as a, a sensible move. You know, uh, buy some time. It's it's a smart way to hit the pause button and yep. gain some equity here with the fans when you eventually do this. Right? Where are they getting clowned? LeBron what, James. A couple of morons in, in their mom's basement. LeBron, with, Le- with LeBron an James. Egg, uh, an eggshell as, Lebr- as, a, as a Twitter. Uh, no, Twitter logo? Go, go go look at LeBron James's Twitter. LeBron James's Twitter wasn't wasn't it, it wasn't very complimentary, okay, and it really again a lot of these a lot of the the non complimentary, um, a branding you know whatever knocks on on Washington right now mm-hmm. is because so much of it it, it feels like uh, it's it's just benign like they didn't do anything. The reality is, and this is this is LeBron's tweet, uh, just. Walking back up, waking up from my pregame nap to see the Washington football team. Mm -hmm. Is that real? No way. Oh, man. They had a thorough, intense, long board meeting about that one, huh? Laughing, obviously laughing faces. He's just stirring the pot. He's just stirring the pot. And again, that's what most people are informed. Exactly. He wouldn't have sent that out. People aren't informed. And so when you're not informed, you can make fun of it. But when you actually think about the fact that how tra- and you know how trademark works, mm-hmm. which I know LeBron does, you kind of say, no, nah, my bad. Yeah, I stand corrected. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell to be notified when we drop fresh content.